Hey guys, welcome back to a Minecraft video, and today, as you saw by the title, I am making seven simple redstone mechanisms that you can make in your Minecraft world with limited resources, limited time, and uh, a craving for fun. <laughs> so, um, quickly, you can see my face in one of these sides, I think it's this one. And this is because I have installed a new streaming software called OBS Studio. And OBS is, I'm not sponsored or anything, but I want to thank them. OBS is a very simple uh, streaming and recording system so that you can, you know, easily stream on your YouTube, Twitch, other things, and record videos like I'm doing right now. So, thanks to this, I can now show my face on videos. Uh, I didn't know how to do this before. So, thank you a lot uh, to OBS. Go to... Go to uh, search download OBS, uh, click on the first link, I think it'll be the first link. Uh, from there on it'll be very straightforward, the website will help you. And another thing, this video has taken ages, and I'm, I'm saying days, this is like my, my seventh or eighth take on this video because I keep failing at some of the things, because I need to memorize all these redstone things. It's it's not it's not easy okay so you can you guys can help me make my day better by giving me a like or a subscribe any of those will be greatly appreciated they all help very much and i love you guys <laughs> uh so our first mechanism is only going to require any mechanism i chose pistons cuz i did two smooth stone or any other building block of your choice only four redstone torches and only seven uh, redstone so I'm gonna give myself all of these and these two so I'm gonna set the time to day uh, time set day so we can see better and I'm going to place our two building blocks straight here then I'm going to make a cross by placing our redstone like this and then following, I'm going to extend them two blocks. That's all our redstone used. All we have to do here is put our redstone torches on each side of the block as so. Put our two mechanisms here. And here. And we, have now, we now have two redstone uh, powered pistons. This is our two way... This is our simple two-way redstone clock. All we need is that, and we can place dispensers here shooting arrows at a very high rate. We can place note blocks here place it playing very high. We can place pistons as so, placing blocks, moving blocks really fast. Or we can, like, make this, as I made here before, which is like a bouncy castle made out of slime blocks and a piston. Okay, sorry, um, I have allergies because it's spring. Okay, I'm going to break these for the sake of not having to listen to that all the time. I'm gonna break this. Uh, gonna collect it all and put it in our chest. Uh, quickly, this is, as I said before, my eighth take or something. So, I just wanted to make sure you guys subscribe. I'm gonna insist on that a lot. Okay? I'm going to check I'm actually recording. Yes, I am recording. And all up to the next one. This is the second one, and it's also very useful. It's an automatic cobblestone bridge. So all we're going to need is lava, water, uh, observers, two observers, and a piston. It's very simple. So this will be a 12-block bridge, so we can extend it and make a bridge or just a simple cobblestone generator. You can use it for whatever, whatever you want. We're going to make a simple tea on the floor to start with. Oops, there is actually water there for some reason. I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to now break these blocks. This will be where our bridge is, uh, you know, moving. So I'm going to clear the path for that. Now I'm going to place, uh, I'm going to break that. And I'm going to place our water here and our lava here. We now have a cobblestone generator so we can break this. And it'll keep creating cobblestone. Next thing we're going to do 
Oh my god, that's on fire. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> We're going to make a little pit here so we can have space for building. Here, uh, at the three blocks depth, actually, I'm going to make it one more deeper. I'm going to place an observer facing upwards. Easy, like that. And now I'm going to place another one facing downwards, so they're facing each other. And this will this will somehow create um, a chained a chained redstone clock, as you can see, it's always activating. Our last thing we need to do to complete this bridge is place one piston like that, facing that way. And it's now, as you can see, creating a cobblestone bridge. This will go on for 12 blocks, and it can be used for many people to be mining cobblestone at once, or it can simply be used for its original purpose to make a bridge across water or lava or anything. And you can you can dispose of it, and you know it's quite useful. As you can see, it stopped because it reached 12 blocks, and a piston can't push more than that. I'm gonna pop this back in the chest. I'm gonna break all this so I can have my map nice and clean. And oops, bow, bow, skibidi, skibidi, bow, boom. There we go. Now we can move on to our next one. Um, this is going to be a multi-wired redstone clock. So that was a redstone clock, the first thing we did. And as you can see, it was very simple. This is going to be the same thing, but we can make it, we can separate it into, in, we can separate it into multi, multiple uh, directions to uh, activate multiple, you know, uh, things. I'm going to show you with pistons, but you know, you can choose anything, actually. We're going to need as many observers as we want, as much redstone as we can, uh, sticky pistons, and lever. As well as any mechanism that you want. So we're going to place our lever there, and I'm going to split it into two. You could split it into more than two, like that. But I'm not going to do that, because I'm demonstrating it to you. as simple. Then we're going to place... Uh, some pistons facing towards us like so as well as if we come here uh, we're going to place our observers looking at this so you can see these two arrows are facing towards us that means we placed it correctly make sure it's doing that we're gonna do the same thing here facing towards them so th this way we can place it on the last block the last pixel of this block and make it look that way like that. So perfectly, we've got them facing each other. If they're not facing each other, that's wrong. And now we're going to place any mechanism we want. I could show you guys with a dispenser uh, and some fireworks. I'm going to place them here. I'm going to put the fireworks in there. And once I turn on this switch, both things will be activated very fast, at very fast rates. As you can see, there's a lot of fireworks going up and the piston is moving very fast and we can just switch it on and off like that it'll be very simple we've already used most of our fireworks and you know that's very simple I'm gonna break this now that's how you make a multi-wired redstone clock you can use this to make your own redstone mechanisms it can be anything it can be an arrow machine gun as you can see it can be a firework launcher oopsie I accidentally broke that and, well, that's that. I'm gonna place our things back in the chest. Oop, bam, scap, boom. Did I place things in this chest? Yes, I did, okay. I'm gonna move on, but before I do, I wanna, you know, explain something. I've, this has taken so many takes. This is my ninth take. I am losing my sanity very fast, so if you guys get to subscribe, it's, you know, very kind of you guys. Uh... And also, if you click on this video, it means you want to learn something, which is very admirable of you. I might be making more redstone tutorials or general Minecraft tutorials, but that's not all I do. See, this is my first tutorial ever, so I make Hypixel videos and streams, as well as I've done other streams such as Fortnite and uh, Minecraft World even. So, I could be your streamer slash YouTuber videos. And I've also recently got a Twitch. I'm called Death Doom YT. I'll be putting the link in the bio probably. If it's not there, I forgot. I'm sorry. And 
Well, yes. Okay, let's continue. I'm not going to hold you guys. This is a very simple emphasis in very. It's so simple. Two-way redstone clock. This is the last redstone clock. Don't worry. You can use this to do the same thing. All we're going to need is two redstone, two of any me mechanism, and two observers. This is it. This is going to take literally 10 seconds to make. Place one observer. The other one facing at it. Redstone. Redstone. Place these things. And it's done. And as you can see, these pistons aren't exactly going at the same time. This is very useful if you don't want them to go at the same time. It's, you know, it could be chaotic in some things. I don't know what you want to use it for. But you can... There's a lot of things you can use it for. Okay, so that's very simple. Literally took 10 seconds to make. And... Well, that's literally it. Let's pop our things back in the chest and move on to the next one. This is where things get a bit harder. In fact, this is where I'm starting to fail at remembering it. But don't worry, because I promised it'd be simple and you guys don't have to worry. This is a tripwire bridge over lava. The way this will work, you'll be running over lava like Jesus, but over lava. So that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. I'm gonna set the time back to zero. So time set day. Very simple to set the time by the way. That's a that's a little free command I've taught you guys. All we're gonna need is lava, I've already placed it there. Tripwire hooks, string, sticky pistons, and stone. Get as much well stone or any building block. Get as much of these things as possible. Okay, so we're going to start by placing our wall here. So this will be small, a small wall of, of that. Um, actually, no, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. This is where my mind tricks me a bit because it's not easy. This is what we're going to do. We're going to place... I shouldn't. You shouldn't go in the lava, by the way. Trust me. We're going to place our pistons here. And the same on the other side, so that they're facing the lava, as so. And now we're going to place this on top. We're also going to place it on the sticky pistons like this. Nice, perfect. We're going to be placing the trip wires on this. Same on the other side. We're going to be placing string on each one of these. You can make sure that it's the string is there. You can't really see it, but if you just right click or if you're doing it on bedrock, the trigger on each one of these, the front of each one of these, you'll see that, you know, they're activating. This is exactly what we want to see with that. It's complete. You can hide the redstone by just placing some stone here. And once we're going to fall in the lava, it'll place a floor under us. Under us. It's basically like Jesus. You can even run and jump on it if you want. Actually, you shouldn't do that. As you can see, that's bugged everything. So don't do that. <laughs> but yes, it's very, it's a very simple mechanism as I taught you guys. And you can use it to walk over lava, and probably people won't notice. So, yeah, you could use this as an entrance to your base, for example. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this stuff back in the chest, and we're going to move on to the next thing. So, here we have a piston door. If you're new to Minecraft, you've probably never made this. But it's a door that will open when you step on these pressure plates. Very simple. I've hidden the redstone like this so it looks much better. You can make this in an entrance to a cave house, for example. And this is all you're going to need. You need 12 redstone, 4 pistons, uh, as much building blocks, it can be anything, any pressure plates, and any redstone. So I'm going to go through here and teach you guys how to make it. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig... Actually, I'm going to do it... Oops. I'm going to do it here. Okay, so I'm going to make a a 3x2x2. Two two. So, 3 blocks wide, 2 blocks 
um, tool and two blocks uh, thick. I don't know what I'm gonna call that. Length. Um. Actually, no. We're gonna we're, no, we're gonna do it. Um. Sorry, I've I've started here. We're gonna do the same thing as I just did right now, but like facing the other way. Just just as a preference. And now we're gonna make um thing uh like arms sticking out like this and the last one basically where the hand would be in an arm we're gonna be placing like one block deep only now we're gonna fill all of this with redstone this too like so with these redstone torches on these and now we can cover this up Okay, so we're gonna cover this up like this. Very simple. I'm gonna place this here like this. Nice. So now we've got that under the round redstone. Now all we need to do is place like this. Sorry, no, not like that. Like this. As you can see, that one activated already. We can do the second one like that. Same here. Boom, boom, redstone dust here. We've got that. Now just place stone. Some pressure plates on each side. Actually, I'm going to make them, I'm going to use wood so you can see them much better. This is where we're going to place our pressure plates. We're going to hide our redstone so that nobody breaks it. Uh... And also because it looks prettier. This we can use the rest of our building box to do this. And now once we walk on these pressure plates, our door will open. It can do it both ways. It's very simple. It's exactly the same as this. And that's how you make a very simple redstone door piston door. Let's put our things back inside this and let's continue to this next one. Now this next one is very special for two reasons. One, one infinite bamboo also works with sugar canes. Very simple me mechanism. It's only this. It's literally only this. And now the second thing. This is a bamboo sugar auto farm made by Wattles. Wattles you can search him on Google or, or YouTube. He makes he made redstone things so this is what I saw of his channel. He's very cool. Thank you, dude. This is very useful for my content. And it's very, very simple. So this is what we're going to need. A chest. A hopper. Redstone dust. Observers. Dirt or coarse dirt. I think like there was a little bug, so it's better to use coarse dirt, I I'd say. Rail. Minecart with hopper. Piston. Um, oak stairs and all this doesn't really need it. Oak planks and water. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to make it here. We're going to place our chest. As so. Placing a hopper behind it into it. Now we're going to crouch and we're going to place our, red our rail on top. And a minecraft a uh, minecart with a hopper. Here we can break the rail. I don't think it matters, but... You should anyway, it's probably better. Okay, now we're gonna build up and place our core step there. Like you can see, it's the same as that. Uh, we can use anything here. So it's, it, this is like a random building block. Uh, to place this piston, uh, this observer facing this way, another building block there, and that. Actually, since I have uh, these in my inventory, we'll just use these instead. In instead of coarse dirt. Looks prettier. We're gonna do that. Nice. Okay. Now what this will do is when when the cat when the bamboo reaches here, this will activate this piston, push it. So we want if we want to see what it's happening, the bamboo, if we wanna see it, we just get glass. As much as we can place it like this we 
make sure to cover the top like that. But before we do that, we're going to need, obviously, we're going to need either sugarcane or bamboo. Since I did it with sugarcane, I mean with bamboo already, let's try it with sugarcane. Oops. So let's, actually we can't place this on coarse dirt, but we can place bamboo. If it's sugarcane, make sure you use uh, either grass, dirt, or sand. I think that's a criteria. So there we have our, bam our bamboo. Uh, with glass, we can seal off the top. And so, I'm going to set the time today. Uh, slash time set day. Perfect. And now, to, to watch it in action, I'm going to set the speed to... To, I'm gonna set the tick speed really fast so we can watch them in action. So all we need to do for this is game rule. Oh, game rule. Uh, random tick speed. And we're gonna put like a big number. I'm gonna say six thousand. So you can see the sugarcane is growing. My computer is buggy. It's gonna like pop out of this, but most of it will be landing in there and falling eventually into our chest as you can see it works with this oops with this machine we have our bamboo there it's probably gonna work soon with that it's buggy because the it's buggy because the tick speed is so high but you know it won't happen in the game so let me just t slash game rule uh, I spelled that wrong t slash game rule random tick speed 2 which is the default now it's slowed down and everything it's still not working but it will work when the tick speed is lower so you don't have to worry about that this one is actually working I think because we put the rail but I don't think it matters because the guy it, he, like, it, it didn't change anything when he did it I'm gonna get the rail and see if it works I'm gonna place this, oops, and the Minecraft with the hopper, there, look, it's all flowing in there, so very easy, very simple thing to do, this will get you infinite bamboo slash, ba uh, slash sugarcane, and I'm quickly gonna put everything back in this chest, as you noticed, we didn't use the water of the stairs, I don't know why he needed it, but, you know, he probably did for a reason, so thank you again, Waddles, Great YouTuber, thanks dude. Uh, and let's move on to the next thing. This, I have seen very variants of it, but it still works. So, you know how in the night, in your survival Minecraft world, there's zombies and skeletons and so many dangerous, dangerous hazards that you don't want to be facing with? What if I told you that this machine can teleport you straight to your base, exactly when there's monsters and stuff? And so that you don't have to deal with it. So this is the automatic night teleporter. All you need is water, soul sand, honey blocks, ender pearl, daylight sensor, and an iron trapdoor. The iron trapdoor is probably more useful since this way, um, this way uh, players won't be able to like, switch it because it can only be activated with redstone. So let me make this thing around here. So first thing we're going to do is dig two down and place soul sand and water. Now here we're going to place honey in these edges as well as a pillar of honey. I made it four blocks, it can be three I think, doesn't matter. And now we're going to place our daylight sensor right here, our trap door right here. Very easy. Now all we need to do is climb up here, we can make access as I did with court stairs here. We need to go up here, aim straight down, but right next to the thing. This will take a few tries, but eventually it will work. So make sure you have enough. Make sure you have enough ender pearls. See now it's stuck to the honey, and it's gonna stay there. Now I'm gonna run off on an adventure. I could be as far as it. It doesn't matter how far you are. And when it becomes night or midnight, more uh, when it becomes like completely dark. Time set midnight. That trapdoor will close, 
uh, that will activate the ender pearl, and I'll be teleported back here. This can be very useful to put next to your survival base, so that when, uh, so that when it becomes nighttime and you're off on your adventure, you go directly home, and this way, you know, you don't have to deal with monsters. Uh, you can also just like turn it off by breaking the daylight sensor or the trapdoor or directly not throwing an ender pearl at all and this way if you're going mining it won't teleport you while you're looking for diamonds okay so that was very very useful probably the most useful out of all of these and we're going directly to the next one this is going to be a very very fun one for for pvp so this is my room you want to put your diamonds in this chest imagine because you want to keep them safe you're going to go up to the chest, open it, and you'll fall in lava. So if you don't want your, your items getting stolen, this is the perfect way to guard them. They'll fall in lava, and it's most likely that they, they won't escape. So I'll, I'm going to place the stone bricks back so that it's fixed. So this will be the lava pit trap. And I will make it right here. All you need is... Stone bricks, blue wool, I'm using this so you can see the redstone. You can just use stone bricks, it will make a difference. Six pistons, eight redstone, redstone torches, two of them. Lava buckets for making the lava, and two trap chests. Okay, so first thing we want to do is obviously place the trap chests right here. So we can put our diamonds in it. Oh. Diamond. There we go, now we have our diamonds safely guarded. Now we want to place, and we want to break these to make the pit. This will have to be three blocks so that they can't escape anyway. Uh, you know, without us noticing. In fact, we probably want to put this chest elevated, so we're going to put it right here. Probably. Yeah, I guess we will. Or not. It doesn't matter what you do. I'll just put it here so, so I don't modify anything. There, our diamonds are in there. Now what we'll do is, as you can see here, I'm just going to break it so we can see the redstone. We have redstone torches here, activating this. Okay, you can't... It's broken now, but that doesn't matter. So, the way to make this would be by putting this there this there we're not going to cover it up yet but we're going to place three wool here three wool here redstone on each side i accidentally placed, placed it pressed it placed it before we're going to place uh this here actually i think i'm doing it a tiny bit wrong probably yes i am what am i doing wrong again let's just check it out here this is why I made it. Okay, so we're placing the place we're placing the pistons under the wool. So precisely like this. Like this. We're gonna place stone bricks or any building block that your house is made of. Uh there on the pistons. We're gonna place the lava down here. If we get it to a lava pit. And we're gonna place finally blocks on top of this redstone don't know how that works and now we're just gonna hide all the redstone stuff here like this obviously hide the pistons because that will make it super obvious but like just hide everything imagine we have everything hidden no escape we're gonna open the chest we have fallen into our lava pit so this is an extremely fun thing to do in in multiplayer because you know like if someone's gonna go steal your diamonds without your permission you throw them in lava because they're mean and yeah so this is only for multiplayer because mobs won't be able to break um mobs won't be able to open chests or anything so you're pretty much safe from that and now we're moving on to our final one you go to your house. This is a test house, by the way. You know, it looks cute. It looks nice. But what we're missing? We're missing lighting. 
Lighting is very important in houses, so mobs don't spawn and generally so it looks nice. So I have created this system so that we can have an on and off switch for glowstone to appear in our house. And it's very simple, requires limited materials, and it's very fun to make actually. I had a lot of fun practicing. So this is our lighting system. We're going to need a button. Lime wool, I'm just using this so you can see the redstone, it's not actually important. Glowstone, pistons, sticky piston, redstone dust, we only need one actually. Two redstone repeaters and three redstone torches. As well as the building block of our choice. So our house is made of oak planks, so I'm going to use oak planks. The f oh. There's a little bug there where if I face down at the top of the screen you can see like through the map for some reason. We're going to break this hole, and with our lime wool, we're going to make this kind of five blocks of lime wool. Kind of like this, so elevate it here. We're going to place this redstone, and methodically we're going to face from the redstone torch, like this, and like this with the redstone repeaters. Second thing we're going to do, we're going to place these. They will turn off, don't worry. It's meant to do that. Now... We're going to use any building block, this is temporary, don't worry, to place our sticky piston down here. So it's temporary, we can just break these blocks now. And we're going to place... Okay, yeah, we're going to place this here. And we're going to place a piston facing it. It won't activate... Uh, sorry. It won't activate because it can't push this. And we're also going to do this. Now this is very simple, all we need to do is place our button here, go to the back of our house, this is where the button is, so we're going to place a redstone torch on that, any building block, another redstone torch, redstone dust there, and with that, we can turn it off and on, we can, okay, let's just, we can place this here, and, oopsie, this has gone a bit mad. Uh, before you finish it, always place that uh, building block there to cover it up. And now, we can have our on and off switch for our amazing posh light system. Well, without further ado, this was an exciting episode to make. Uh, it took 8 tries, counted 8 tries. And I didn't, I had fun, but, you know, I got tired, and I got hungry, and my voice got really hoarse, and I needed to drink water, and, well, if you guys have enjoyed, uh, leave a like, because, you know, everyone, every YouTuber begs it, but they don't really need it, because they have millions of subs and millions of likes on each video. You could help out an, a new YouTuber uh, to, you know, start off. Uh, my my uh, Twitch is deathdoom underscore yt, so deathdoom big slash in the bottom yt. That's my Twitch. I have no videos yet. I plan to make something uh, this Easter. So, and thank you for watching. You guys are great. You wanted to learn how to make simple redstone things, and you ended up learning a few new things about Minecraft. Very fun to make, very easy to make, and very useful. And goodbye, guys. Thank you for watching.